Oh, another addendum to Bent 69. Bartley's here. And he brought beer. And, and there's beer. Nice. Yeah, he, he brought a lot of beer. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> no, we're going to get him caught up on the project real quick. Pix is working on some interior stuff. Okay, I've been called in for some Bent 69 work. What have we got? All right. So, I set and this whole first row here is all hog, hog ringed in. This is the button row. So I ended up, you know, finding the center, made the center here, marked it, and then attached from here out to get everything lined up. Perfect. Shop dog, shop dogs, all kinds of riled up. He's been a naughty boy this week and he wants to go outside and be more naughty. And who knows, maybe there's a squirrel. So let's see what Bartley's up to in here. So, with everything else we're doing to try to save a couple bucks because of everything that we spent, we're gonna weld those up. So I had him clean those up and brought a nice little wizard wheel. And just fighting the fight, it's, what do you do? Somebody sprayed some stuff in there and there's not a lot you can do to, to make it fast. Well, you could. You could soda blast it and then have to repaint the whole car. And then repaint the whole thing, yeah. Yeah, it's only that's, money. That's next. It's only but, money. But it's only time and money. <laughs> Salt scrapers work okay. Yeah, and see, a little bit more. And no copyright strikes. We're gonna do a closeout video for tonight for Bent 69 and for the Catalina. So for the people that watch both videos, you'll see them both. She started the relaxing on that. This is sitting ready for us to bend up brake lines. Uh, I think I'd mentioned earlier why we didn't bother putting the wheels on since the lines are all gonna come off. Um, we got the power steering pulled since we've got new brackets and pulleys uh for Bartley's car it's just going to be easier to do that off the car and he is starting to look at the painting he needs to do in this engine bay so you can see he's getting there it is a lot less gunky than it was always a lot yeah. to do yeah clean 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 yeah kind of like beer so everything's got to be clean exactly just like it all right, well, thanks for watching. In today's Bent 69 video, it's Saturday. It is bloody cold outside. Um, I think we're going to get up to zero today. Obviously, you can see the engine's back. And I'm going to tell a fun story. So, this flywheel is now balanced correctly to this assembly. You'll note they had to weld in some holes. This flywheel was balanced. 180 out so this index was was not positioned on the crank correctly and Unfortunately because that's how the balance was already done. That's what we've stuck with if that flywheel ever dies It will have to be weight matched to the new one to take some weight out I don't know why they didn't use an external balance flywheel But that was a decision made years and years ago that I had nothing to do with so we're working with what we've got didn't expect them to put the short block together, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. So it went to the machine shop to get 60 over pistons and to be decked and honed. So in a little bit, we're going to uh, measure, you know, what our actual deck height is. He thought it would still be a couple mils in the hole, which would be perfect for our application, but I will verify that. And you'll note we have new dowel pins and everything. That's always nice. I'll get new plugs and stuff. I don't know where those went. And, of course, new cam bearings. The old ones were looking pretty worn. So, better to just replace them while you're at the machine shop. They, uh, yeah, I didn't expect them to put the short block together. That saves me a lot of hassle, actually. So, I'm not going to complain. And he did put some black paint down. You know to protect the block after the wash because you know once it comes out of the jet washer it does not take long for the rust to start so 
we're going to get started on this. So there's a few things I want to do, not the least of which is probably turn this a lovely orange color. We will see if that's part of today's plan. Like I said, it's uh, it's a bit chilly out. So shop dog is around here somewhere just chilling. Yeah, he's on his double decker bed, just chilling. And the, uh, the heater's just a running. I don't think it's turned off recently. So, you know, she's running. Everything's doing its stuff. You know, keeping temp in here, though. I think it's set at 55 in this room right now. Now, tonight, because tomorrow is going to be brutally cold, tonight I'm actually going to turn both rooms down to about 42 and uh, try to save a couple dollars. But, you know, that's kind of where we're at. So... I will continue progressing on the Bent 69 project. Okay, just checking deck heights. Um, I'm seeing my worst case is gonna be 12 mils, so that's what I'm gonna be using. Uh, like we showed earlier in one of these videos. Um, if I go to zero, you can see we're at zero. Slider back, so we'll go over center. See, she goes down the hole. So I don't normally like to go backwards, but we will. But you saw the highest point there is 12. So it dipped and touched that. So just wrote that down. Um, you know, not as much variance as you would expect. Um, machinist was wrong. We're definitely not 20 in the hole. We're a lot closer to 12, 15. So I think for my calculations, obviously, I've got to work off this hole. So for compression ratio and selecting my gasket now, I will look at uh, 12 mils. So that'll do the job. And then the other thing to note is these beautiful pistons here. And note, we still get that real, real nice uh, quench area here. And we still get our 20 cc's over here. So that's pretty nice. Now, shop dog is tired of uh, paint and he wants to go inside. What he's forgotten is it's brutally cold out. So he's about to remember. All right, buddy, you ready? Let's go see mama. Oh yeah, it's cold. Dog is back. He needs more paint fumes in his life. Nothing quite as boring as waiting for paint to dry. So while we're doing that, I did Decided better verify, even though I'd already checked against the old one. But yeah, everything lines up fine. The other thing I've got to do is mark this flywheel. Oh, God, I forgot that's heavy. And I'll probably mark it all around here with my engraver to let the next person know that this is weight balanced to the rotating assembly and that it needs to, you know, if you wanted to replace this... You have to put both of them on a mandrel, 180 out, and and balance them to each other, and that would work. So I better uh, better make that note. Done everything I can. Made notes about if this is ever replaced to rebalance it, that it's not standard, that it's balanced to the crank, and even in here, balanced to crank. So that's the best I can do. Okay, set her up on the engine for the last coat of paint on the oil pan, just to make sure we got every angle so gonna be a nice orange engine with black intake black uh, timing cover black valve covers aluminum heads it's gonna look really nice so we're getting there okay while we're waiting on paint to dry i went ahead and ordered pretty much everything left i need on this build um, oil pan gasket, valve cover gaskets, uh, head gasket is actually something I didn't order. I have some on the wall that we're going to use. Um, timing cover gaskets, a new block off plate, you know, all the little things that you need. And a new degreed balancer. I could reuse that factory style balancer they had. I just don't trust them. So we're going to go to an aftermarket degreed balancer. It's not that expensive. You know, $90 to know that it's correct and balance is right. Uh, seems pretty worthwhile at this point with as much as we've spent. Um, you know, saving this oil pan definitely uh, saves us a bit of money. So that helps. You know, as you can see, we've been peeling tape. You know, the pan's just sitting there, so i got to be careful. 
I uh, want at least two more coats on that because black fits the theme. You know, didn't want it in silver. Um, what else are we doing? No, not a lot. Uh, got there were some buttons for the rear seats that uh, obviously we're not reusing because we're changing styles. So I got those on order. Uh, yeah, we're kind of at the point where there's a bunch of cleanup to do. Waiting on a cam. Uh, once the cam is here and all the gaskets are here, we can finish assembling the short block. Uh, once that's degreed and we're happy with it, we'll go ahead, throw the heads on there, get the intake on there. And then I will see if he is still interested in taking this to the dyno, which is always my preference. You know, I'd prefer to have problems where they're easy to solve. Um, but uh, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm, you know, reasonably happy with where we're at. Like I said, it wasn't my intention, but, uh, you know, the short block coming back together already assembled did save me a, a whole day of dicking around. So, there is that. Uh, what else? Um, I don't have a whole lot more time to putts today. So, I did get uh, gaskets ordered. Because we're going to need them. You know, which is why I always save gaskets that come off of something. Because we already know these did fit. So, I can base my decisions based on what was already there. However, you know, you don't always want the exact same thing that was there. It depends on what you've done. I actually went to a different intake gasket. One, I don't care about crossover ports. But two, I really wanted to take advantage of the uh, size in the head. So, excuse me, shop dog. So when you look at the ports on the head, you know, because they're a bit bigger, I figure we might as well take advantage of that. Um, let's see, the head gasket is actually one I, I carry. It's a 1003. I don't know that the block and the heads are, were both cut for MLS gaskets. I don't want to take the risk because it is a different surface finish. The block did have standard Felpro uh, Permatorque style gaskets on it. So that's what we're going to go back to. And, you know, there was no problem. It didn't leak. Now that we've got the dish pistons and we're in that 9 6 to 1 kind of range, um, suddenly that makes me feel a lot better about pump gas, which was something I was getting really, really worried about. Um, you know, I think I'd already shown that I've marked this as best as I can. I mean, you know, the next guy... Hopefully he understands that he has to balance it or the engine will self-destruct. It won't last long out of balance like that because as you can see, we're talking a significant amount of weight. So, and in fact, because it was balanced wrong initially, they actually were able to swap it back around to normal balance point, which this is a mark on your crank, you know, that's usually used for alignment for exactly this type of purpose and I think you can still see the witness the witness mark here yeah it's harder to see but when I took the engine apart the index instead of being here was here and luckily I had noted that so that when it came time to balance it they could tell what was going on unfortunately when you wire brushed this it kind of cleaned that off a little bit but now we're back to at least standard install. I wish we could have done this with a standard 383 uh, balance or even a neutral balance. But it's not the way the kit was made that they had bought. So there's not a lot I can do about it. You know, having this giant GMC truck 12-inch uh, clutch also wasn't really what I was expecting. But it worked. It's what we already have. Um, and if I was already paying money to... To rebalance it you know I couldn't afford to also introduce a new variable so at this point that's about all we want to spend on all that um, at some point I may go ahead and pull that roller bearing out and put a oil light bushing in I have not decided on that because this bearing is actually in really good shape so eh, you know comes a point where how much more money are we spending so at this point, that's kind of where we're at. 
this is most likely the end of today's Bent 69 video. I know it doesn't look like I did much. I mostly sat right here and searched parts and bought them um, between coats of paint. So, um, yeah. This is the Bent 69 Project. Thanks for watching.